We've got uh, lot 16 and lot 17 in here. Doing them as a pair just uh, so they're a little more comfortable. 87.7 and 87.8. Uh, I think 87.8 is there on the far side uh, that Darren's got hooked up on the bottle. And, uh, man, <laughs> he's the one that's uh, intact and not a crypt. Uh, but that is a blue show bear if I have ever seen one. Awesome in terms of his proportions, stout featured. Uh, you know, that's a high-headed one that's sharp looking and still very square as he goes to the surface from behind. Uh, kind of a different built one for sure uh, that uh, brings some interesting pieces to the table, Brant. I think both of these 87.7 uh, and 87.8 uh, are both really quality uh like you said, they're a little different than what we've seen up to this point today, just in terms of, you know, not having that extra look up front. Uh, but these things are going to be stout and bold and wide, and if that's how you like to feed them, I'm okay with that because their skeleton's still in check within their body. Uh, like a lot of things, like Bryce said, 87.8 is this darker, just solid belted one that's on the bottle right now. You study that thing's length of hip and range of motion from behind, and that can get you excited for the kind of power and just – shape that he has up high. I think an awfully good pair in 87.8 is the one uh, that's got his head up to where we can really study him and break him down. I love his hip. Uh, we get this 87.7 uh, over here in the middle of the ring and just study him with his head down. His hind leg does read about the same. Uh, he, I'll mention that he is a crypt there so you'll have to get him fixed uh, when you get him home but uh, that one may be just a little wider and bulkier up high as you study him. Uh, maybe not as square and true and just in terms of his front foot placement. That's just how I read him. What do you think, Bryce? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously 87.8, as we talked about, uh, the boar featured one, and then 87.7 uh, is another one that is wide, stout, and dense. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you know, one that's probably got to be uh, off the self feeder for sure, uh, but uh, one that reads just loads of quality for sure. Uh, you know, this 87.7 doesn't really want to just show off, uh, but I think one that's extra dense in terms of his skeleton, uh, extra stout in terms of his feature. Uh, it needs to be off the self feeder, but man, this is a short bodied one that uh, it's still got some length off either end of his skeleton. Uh, he is radical from behind, but still very. Very, very stout and square as he goes to the arena surface. I think a good pair and a good feeding pair. One's got to be, you know, brought on just a little bit slower. And then one's maybe just a little more versatile in terms of the feed bucket. So uh, a good pair of them for sure. 87.7 uh, is kind of the one closer to the camera. That's lot 16 and 87.8 uh, is kind of the darker complected one uh, that is getting hooked up there on the bottle. Yeah, we just give them a little moment out here. I, I think this pair is as cool marked as what we've seen today. And, and this pair probably represent each other just as much as any from a litter standpoint of, of what that litter stamped in here. Stoutness, yet bone work is extremely good on these. I think an awfully good pair should have both of these written down.